Well, here's a sentence I didn't think I'd be saying for a while. The body of Dylan Rounds has been found. Hey guys, this is Jules with True Crime Reactions. Disclaimer. Everything stated in this video is my opinion and my opinion only. And just like everything else in these cases we discuss here on this channel, everything is alleged. Okay, Dylan Rounds. For those of you that have been here for a while, you know that we've talked about this case since he was reported missing. Dylan Rounds is a 19-year-old farmer who went missing from his farming area right outside of Lucind, Utah. And the person that's responsible for Dylan's death is in jail and has been in jail for quite some time. He's had a lot of issues with keeping a lawyer. There's been a whole bunch of back and forth. And the last update, the last update that I had in the Dylan Drowns case was a few weeks ago, whenever Candace was on another channel doing an interview, I cannot think of the person's name at the moment. But I will have a thumbnail for it up here somewhere because I'll go back in my history and find it. And this is where I found out that there was actually a hearing going to be coming up for James Brenner, the man responsible for taking Dylan's life. I believe it was supposed to be on May the 14th, if I'm remembering correctly. But as of the news today, as of what I just listened to five freaking minutes ago, Idaho News is releasing the fact that there has been a plea deal given to James Brenner that has been agreed to. And as of this morning, James Brenner brought the police to the area in this very remote part of the Lucind Desert, which is really close to where Dylan was staying and where he technically disappeared from. Well, James Brenner brought them straight to Dylan Rounds' body this morning. This morning on April 9th is whenever this happened. So I don't know when the plea deal was agreed to. We don't know when the next court date's gonna be. I just know that this has been a long time coming. And Dylan's family has been fighting nonstop. They've had active groups. They've been helping other families that have had children or family members go missing find resources because Dylan Rounds' family basically had to do everything on their own. That police department is useless. They caused all kinds of issues. They basically allowed James Brenner to trash evidence and clean up the crime scene right in front of their faces <laughs> and for those of you who don't know about this case and want to get caught up because we're going to be keeping up with the updates like we have been from the beginning i do have a playlist candace cooley his mother has like i've mentioned been a very strong warrior for him it's actually been really interesting to see the way the dynamic is in dylan rounds his family because his mom and dad are divorced and whenever you see them together talking about Dylan and talking about the search for Dylan, you can see there's a little bit of separation between the two of them, obviously, but they are so much a unit. Like they are so much like a unit for Dylan. It's amazing how they were able to come together as strong as they were, because usually whenever there's already a divorce and then a tragedy, it usually makes it worse. Sort of like what we're seeing in the Sebastian Rogers case right now, unfortunately. But Dylan's family, his mom and dad, and everyone else involved in all of this has really, really come together, and they just never stopped. They never, never stopped, no matter how crazy it got, no matter how many crazy people tried to interfere with the case and cause a bunch of issues and start a bunch of rumors and cause chaos, Candace and her ex-husband never stopped. They never stopped. And they've been just waiting, waiting for something to give. And the crazy part is that once the information was found on Dylan's phone where it shows a recording of James Brenner literally like cleaning a weapon and he's covered in blood, somehow or another Dylan was able to capture this on film. So even if Dylan's body had never been found, James Brenner was going down. He was going down. And the only thing I can really think when it comes to motive is jealousy. Like, I've thought a lot about this because I really couldn't figure out what the problem was. Like, James Brenner was like this loser. He's older, obviously. He's got failing health. He's got, he doesn't have a pot to piss in. He was staying in somebody else's little camper on somebody else's property, somebody that was just giving him a little bit of grace. Dylan Rounds was a 19-year-old who was motivated, knew exactly what he wanted, and had literally just got his grains in, and his, his, his dream was literally coming true. It was going to be his first harvest, and all he ever wanted his entire life was to be a freaking farmer, and the second that he was about to have his dream, it was snatched away by a jealous piece of shit. That's how I see James Brenner.
He was jealous because he couldn't be Dylan. He was jealous that a child half his age had more of a chance out in this world than he did. That's the only motivation I can see. Now, that is all for the details right now. Again, this story is just now happening. It is 7.30 p.m. I don't know if I'm going to have this posted before 9 p.m. because I've got to go get my kid from driver's ed. So this might actually get posted sometimes after 8.30. It just depends on how much time I actually have to get everything done. But that's the update. And we have been talking about this case for a long time now. So it was only right I stopped everything as soon as I saw this and told you guys about it because I have been waiting. I have been waiting and I have been thinking where he could be. I was so, I was so adamant that he was in the wash. He had to be in the wash to me. He had to be in the wash. The tire prints, just the, 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 the weird coincidences with the way things happened, the rain, and there was just so much. I really thought that he was in the wash. I really did. I'm just happy for the family. I mean, all of this obviously is really horrible and it's really, really sad and tragic, but they've been waiting to grieve. They've been waiting to grieve for years now. We are literally about to come up on like the two year anniversary of him even being reported missing in the first place. And now a month shy of that, pretty much, they finally have him and they can lay him to rest. I can't even imagine the way that Candace Cooley felt this morning because she's mentioned in pretty much every interview that she's done that she really hasn't had a chance to like really sit back and realize what's going on because he hadn't been home. They hadn't found him. I just hope that she lets herself grieve the way that she deserves to because she's been a warrior for him. And this was a long time coming. But we're definitely going to be keeping an eye out on what happens with James Burner in court because he deserves to rot in all of his disgustingness stupid ass old man. But that's it, you guys. If you like the way that I present this information and give my opinion, please do not forget to leave a like on your way out and subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed already. See y'all.